we want to find the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by z at the point eight comma sixteen comma seven. Before we do this though, let's look at this graphically. Here we see the graph of the surface and now we'll zoom out until we can see the point of tangency in the tangent plane. So now in red we see the point of tangency and this yellow plane is a tangent plane to the surface. Again, our goal is to find the equation of this yellow plane. So going back to our notes, our first step is to write the equation of our surface in this form here, where we have a function of x, y, and z set equal to zero. To do this we would subtract z on both sides of the equation. So we can write big F of x comma y comma z is equal to seven times e raised to the power of x squared minus four y minus z equals zero. Next, notice how the point of tangency is x sub zero comma y sub zero comma z sub zero. So here x sub zero equals eight, y sub zero equals sixteen, and z sub zero equals seven. Let's quickly review where the equation of the tangent plane comes from. The equation of the tangent plane comes from the dot product of the gradient of f and vector v, where vector v is a vector in our tangent plane. Since the gradient of f evaluated at the point of tangency is normal to the tangent plane at the point of tangency, it must be orthogonal to every vector v in the tangent plane, making this dot product equal to zero. So looking at the equation of the plane, notice how the components of our vector v in the tangent plane would have components x minus x sub zero, y minus y sub zero, and z minus z sub zero. So for our next step, we'll determine our partial derivatives and evaluate them at the point of tangency. So for the partial with respect to x, we'll treat y and z as constants. So the derivative of seven e raised to the power of x squared minus four y with respect to x would be seven times e raised to the power of x squared minus four y times the derivative of x squared minus four y with respect to x, which would be two x. So this is the chain rule. And then minus the derivative of z with respect to x, which would be zero. So here's our partial with respect to x, and now we'll evaluate this at the point of tangency. So notice how here we'd have fourteen x, so fourteen times x is eight times e raised to the power of x squared, which would be eight squared, minus four times y, and y is sixteen. Well, fourteen times eight equals one hundred twelve, so this is equal to one hundred twelve times e to the, this would be e to the zero, which equals one, so we have one hundred twelve for the partial with respect to x evaluated at the point of tangency. And now we'll find the partial with respect to y, treating x and z as constants. So if the derivative of seven e raised to the power of x squared minus four y with respect to y, we'd have seven e raised to the power of x squared minus four y times the derivative of x squared minus four y with respect to y, that'd be negative four. The derivative of z with respect to y would be zero. So at the point of tangency, we'd have seven times negative four, that's negative twenty-eight and then we have e raised to the power of again eight squared minus four times sixteen, which is negative twenty-eight times e to the zero, or just negative twenty-eight. And then finally the partial with respect to z, treating x and y as constants, so the derivative of this first term with respect to z would be zero, the derivative of negative z with respect to z would be negative one, and of course at any point, the partial with respect to z would be negative one. So for the equation of our tangent plane, the partial with respect to x at the point of tangency is one hundred twelve, so we have one hundred twelve times the quantity x minus x sub zero, x sub zero is eight, and then plus the partial with respect to y Evaluate at the point of tangency, that's negative twenty-eight, so minus twenty-eight times the quantity y minus y sub zero, or y minus sixteen, plus the partial with respect to z, 
which is negative one times the quantity z minus z sub zero or z minus seven equals zero. So again, reviewing the equations of a plane, we just found the standard form of the equation of our tangent plane. If we distribute and simplify, we have the general form. In our homework though, they want us to solve for z. So now we'll distribute and simplify, then solve for z. So we have 112x minus 112 times eight, that's 896, minus 28y, negative 28 times negative 16 is positive 448. Then we have minus z plus seven equals zero. Simplifying, we have 112x minus 28y minus z and then negative 896 plus 448 plus seven is negative 441, so minus 441 equals zero. This would be the general form of our equation. Solving for z, we'd add z to both sides, so we'd have the equivalent equation z equals 112x minus 28y minus 441. So this would be the equation of our tangent plane to the surface at the given point, which again, we see here graphed in yellow. I hope you found this helpful.